So the first thing we need to recognize is that the coefficient of v squared is 10. So it has two possible factor pairs, 10 and 1 or 5 and 2. So to be systematic, I'm just going to start with 10 and 1 and see if I can find a solution that way. And if I try all possibilities and I can't find the correct factoring, then I'm going to jump over to the 5 and the 2. So 3 has one factor pair, 3 and 1. So that means we only have two options, either 10v plus 3 and v plus 1, or we can flip-flop the order. So there you have it, the two possibilities. Now what we're going to do is just FOIL them out and see if one of them has 17v for the middle term. So we're going to FOIL to check. And when we work out the first one, what do we get? We get 13v for the middle term, which doesn't work. And the second one, what do we get for the middle term? 31v, which also doesn't work. So, we're going to have to switch over to the 5 and the 2. Since 3 only had the one factor pair and neither of those worked, we're going to have to see if 5 and 2 will work. So, now we're going to start off with the 5v and the 2v. And, again, we know 3 only has the one factor, so it's either going to be 5v plus 3 and 2v plus 1, or we flip-flop the 3 and the 1 again. And again, we have to FOIL the check. So, when we start FOILing, the first one we get 10v squared plus 11v plus 3. And the second one, we get our answer. 10v squared plus 17v plus 3. So, we can see that the correct factoring is 5v plus 1 times 2v plus 3. And that's it.